we need to factorize this expression using the factor theorem so we need to get that value of y at which this expression becomes zero how to find that value of y let us try hit and trial method so first let us check for one whether this becomes zero at y equal to one but wait a second observe this expression carefully in this expression all the terms have a plus sign with them so if we substitute a positive value for y all the terms will become positive but the sum of all the positive terms can never give me a zero the sum of all positive terms will never be zero so there is no point checking for positive terms in such an expression so we restrict our possibilities to only the negative terms so we have limited our possibilities to checking for negative values of y so let us check for negative 1 so p negative 1 substitute y is equal to negative 1 we get negative 1 whole cube plus 6 into negative 1 square plus 11 into negative 1 plus 6 negative 1 whole cube is negative 1 negative 1 square is 1 so 6 into 1 will be 6 11 into negative 1 will give negative 11 and we have a plus 6 here so collect the positive terms 6 plus 6 is 12 negative 1 negative 11 is negative 12 so this gives us 0 so p negative 1 is 0 so if we substitute negative 1 in place of y we get 0 so we can say that y minus negative 1 that is y plus 1 is a factor of this expression so y plus 1 is a factor of this expression now there are two ways to proceed from here one way is to find the other factors using hit and trial the second way is to write this as y plus 1 into something because we have already got py has y plus 1 as a factor so py can be written as y plus 1 into something now if we can find this part then we can factorize this and get the other factors of py how do we find this we have got y plus 1 as one factor so write y plus 1 in a row 3 times y 3 times because this is a cubic term given that this is a cubic term we write y plus 1 in a row thrice so we write y plus 1 y plus 1 y plus 1 next we have y cube here so how do we get y cube from here if we multiply a y square with this expression y square into y will give me y cube so i have i am done with the y cube term y square into 1 will give me y square but i have 6y square here i have 6y square i have already got y square we need 5y square more how can we get 5y square more we have y here so multiply this by 5y 5y into y will give 5y square now we have 1 here so 5y into 1 will give 5y we have 11y here out of this 11y we already have 5y here 
we need 6y more how do we get 6y from here multiply this by 6 so we get 6y plus 6 so this is y cube y cube y square plus 5y square gives us 6y square 5y plus 6y gives 11y and we have 6 here 6 here so this expression is the same as py so we have y square into y plus 1 plus 5y into y plus 1 plus 6 into y plus 1 we can take y plus 1 common from all the three terms taking y plus 1 common we get y plus 1 into y square plus 5y plus 6 so py can be written as y plus 1 into y square plus 5y plus 6 now we can factorize this to get the further factors of py so we represent this as qy this is a quadratic polynomial we have already seen how to factorize quadratic polynomials so let us factorize quad this quadratic polynomial the coefficient of the first term is 1 the coefficient of the other terms is integer and the last term is also an integer so we limit our possibilities to the factors of 6 what are the factors of 6 1 2 3 and 6 so we check for plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 and plus minus 6 but again all the terms here are positive so we rule out the positive values so we will check only for the negative values that is negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 negative 6 so let us check for negative 1 first substitute y is equal to negative 1 we get negative 1 square plus 5 into negative 1 plus 6 which is 1 minus 5 plus 6 this gives us 2 2 is not equal to 0 so negative 1 does not make this expression 0 so let us check for negative 2 now we get negative 2 whole square plus 5 into negative 2 plus 6 negative 2 whole square is 4 5 into negative 2 is negative 10 and we have plus 6 4 plus 6 is 10 10 minus 10 is 0 so q negative 2 gives us 0 that means y minus negative 2 which is equal to y plus 2 it is a factor of qy so y plus 2 is a factor now can you find which number will make qy 0 apart from negative 2 well we have already seen that for quadratic expressions the last term divided by this value which makes this expression 0 gives us the second value for which this expression will be 0 so 6 divided by negative 2 which is negative 3 so q negative 3 should be 0 so we divide the constant term by this let us verify whether q negative 3 is 0 negative 3 square plus 5 into negative 3 plus 6 negative 3 square is 9 5 into negative 3 is negative 15 and we have plus 6 here 9 plus 6 is 15 15 minus 15 is 0 so q negative 3 is 0 hence y 
minus negative 3, that is y plus 3, is a factor. So y plus 2 is a factor, y plus 3 is a factor. These two are factors of qy and hence these two are factors of py as well. So we can write py, that is this expression, is equal to y plus 1, y plus 2, y plus 3. y plus 1 into y plus 2 into y plus 3. These are the three factors of this cubic polynomial. Now in the case of quadratic polynomials, we have seen that if a and b are integers, then a and b are the factors of the constant term. So we need to check only the factors of the last term if the first term has coefficient 1 and the other terms have integral coefficients. What if we multiply x minus a into x minus b into x minus c? We get an expression of this form. If a, b and c are integers, then this will be an integer, this will be integer, this will be integer. Coefficient of x cube is 1. So if we have a cubic polynomial, in which the coefficient of the first term is 1 and the other coefficients are integers and even the constant term is an integer, then we can restrict our possibilities to the factors of the last term. So we need to check for the factors of the last term ABC. Here A is a factor of ABC, B is a factor of ABC, C is a factor of ABC. In fact, not only for cubic, it holds for any polynomial of any degree. So we need to check for the factors of the last term if these conditions hold. That is the first term has coefficient 1 and all other terms have integral coefficients. So we limit our possibilities in hit and trial methods.